I've had a slow leak in one of my tires all week, and before it becomes a bigger problem, I'm going to deal with it. From here, it's tough to tell what's jammed into my tire, but it's almost always a nail or a screw. Before I pull anything out, I'm going to get all of the tools that I need to pull, pry, and plug, as well as my breaker bar and torque wrench to remove and remount the wheel. Turns out, it wasn't a nail or a screw after all. It looks like a long, thin piece of gravel or stone that forced its way into my tire, then broke into tiny pieces over time. This is a first for me, but I wasn't surprised because I know exactly when this happened. The hole was so small that I couldn't hear any air escaping, so I sprayed a little water on the tire to see if the air bubbles would form, which it did. I always have a sealed packet of tire plugs available in case any of the ones I saved from other packets have dried up. The instructions on the back of the package are pretty basic, so make sure to look them over. These are still good, so I'm going to use one of them. This is a rasp, and it's used to roughen up the hole to make a clean, textured surface for the adhesive on the plug to bind to. You should have the plug ready to go so that you can minimize the amount of air that you lose out of the tire. This is a needle, and it's the tool that we use to install the plug. It works by folding the plug into two and forcing it through the hole. The open slot at the end allows you to remove the tool while leaving the plug jammed into the tire. It will take some force to push the plug into the tire, but that's a good thing because you want that hole sealed. I push that plug in as far as it can go without losing either end to the inside of the tire. A razor is used to remove the excess. Another leak test is a must, and by the looks of it, we're doing pretty good. Don't forget to search the tire for more punctures, because oftentimes if you find one, there definitely could be another. Never plug a puncture that's on the shoulder or the sidewall of a tire. Don't forget to check the torque specs on the lug nuts before remounting your wheels on the vehicle. It's always recommended to use a torque wrench on your lug nuts, because if they're on too loose, they can back off, and too tight, they can cause the stud to break under strain. I've seen both happen, and it isn't pretty. Make sure to tighten the lugs using a cross pattern. If your tire is totally flat, you should inflate it before you lower the car back onto the ground so that the bead doesn't break its seal from the rim of the wheel. Now most shops won't even plug your tire anymore, but it will insist on unmounting your tire from the wheel and placing a patch on the inside. This is a much safer repair job because not only is the patch a better solution, but the tire can be inspected from the inside to ensure that it's still structurally sound. We hope our tips helped you research a solution to your problems. But remember, it's always best to seek the help of a trained professional when working on your car, especially if it's a project that you've never done before. If these quick tips helped you out, please let us know in the comments below. For more videos on how we work on our cars, make sure to subscribe to our channel.